hit a dead end, understanding the phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the meaning of a common English phrase, hit a dead end. This phrase is used frequently in both casual and formal conversations. So, let's dive in and understand what it really means and how you can use it in your daily English communication. The term, dead end, originally comes from the world of roads and pathways. Imagine you're walking or driving and you reach the end of a road where you can't go any further. That's a dead end, literally a point where the path stops. In English, this concept has been borrowed to create a metaphor. When we say someone has hit a dead end, we mean that they've reached a point in a task, project, or situation where they cannot make any more progress. It's like coming to a stop because there's no clear way forward. This phrase is often used to describe problems in various aspects of life, such as careers, relationships, or creative projects. Let's look at some examples. Career. I feel like I've hit a dead end in my current job. There's no room for promotion or growth. Relationships. Our conversations always hit a dead end. We just can't seem to understand each other anymore. Problem solving. We hit a dead end trying to fix the issue with the software. It might be time to try a different approach. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different contexts, always conveying the idea of an impasse or blockage. Remember, Hit a dead end is best used in situations where there is a lack of progress or options. It's not typically used for minor setbacks or delays. The phrase carries a sense of finality, like you've exhausted your options. And there you have it. Now you know how to use the phrase, hit a dead end, in English. Whether you're discussing work, personal projects, or just life in general, this phrase can be a powerful way to express that you're at a point where moving forward seems difficult. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using it like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and I hope this has been helpful. See you in the next video.